Your brain is not just neurons. Turns out there are other cells doing important work up there too. Neurons get a lot of attention for being the cells that do all of the communicating in our brains and bodies. But about half of your brain is made up of non-neuronal cells called glia. And these cells have their own important roles. Hey there, I'm Ellie Astrocyte, and this week we're highlighting another one of the brain's glorious glial cells, microglia. Yes. Thanks to evolution, we have this handy thing called the blood-brain barrier, or BBB. We'll probably talk about this more in a later video, but to put it briefly, the BBB is basically a set of properties that are unique to the blood vessels in the brain. These specialized blood vessels make it very, very difficult for infectious agents, like bacteria, to get into the brain and spinal cord. But the trade-off is that other beneficial things, like immune cells, can't get into the brain either. Microglia are the brain's answer to that problem. Basically, these cells take care of the stuff that other immune cells do in the rest of the body, but in the brain instead. These cells make up around 10-15% to 15 of all brain cells, and they can move around a lot, doing tons of different jobs depending on what state they're in. Resting microglia have a small cell body that stays in one place, while long, thin cellular branches project out and move around, monitoring the surrounding area. Kind of like the arms in the matrix. There are fields here. Endless fields where human beings are no longer born. We are grown. Except not harvesting humans. These act sort of like a security system. They're tracking the local environment, keeping an eye out for any kind of danger. They can also clean up any dead cells and cellular debris they come upon, moving to suck up and break down the junk they find. When something activates the microglia, like a brain injury or infection, they go to work to fix the problem. These active microglia change their shape, pulling in their branches and becoming more bushy, and start to multiply to increase the number of microglia in the brain. They also release proteins, called cytokines, that make it easier for other immune cells, like T cells, to get into the brain to help deal with infections. Some microglia become like a cleanup crew. They travel through brain tissue to the site of the injury, where they engulf any foreign materials or debris, and release chemical signals to promote inflammation in the tissue in an attempt to kill off any invading bacteria. And this isn't always a good thing. Some of those signals can actually promote cell death, so in some ways, microglia can actually make things worse during infections or injuries. But after things settle down, microglia release signals that recruit neurons and astrocytes to the area to help the tissue heal. Keeping the brain healthy and protecting it from invasion is pretty important. And just like astrocytes, it turns out that microglia have a few tricks up their sleeves. Some fairly recent research has found that microglia aren't just important for cleaning up debris after injury, they actually play an active role in cleaning up extra synapses. During development, your brain actually grows more neurons and forms more synapses than it needs. The connections that are used get strengthened and solidified, mm. but the ones that aren't end up being broken down. Microglia can come in and prune or pinch off extra synapses. Then they gobble up the debris from the extra neurons as they die off. It's also thought that microglia could be playing a part in neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease. Microglia and Alzheimer's disease become activated and then release toxic chemical signals that lead to neuronal death and degeneration. So these cells aren't just part of the immune system. They're a really important part of keeping the brain clean and organized so that your neurons can continue communicating clearly with one another. Pretty cool, right? Thanks for watching this episode of Neurotransmissions. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're really excited about what we do here, please consider contributing to our Patreon. Your support helps us keep making these videos for you. Until next time, I'm Allie Astrocyte. Over and out.